Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up this screen. Yep, old Spurrier and Dabo. They had to troll the Vols. They got a real kick out of that game against South Carolina. They, they really enjoyed it. And typical, of course, Spurrier has always been a smart aleck. He loves to uh, dig at the Vols. It's one of his favorite pastimes. And you know what's funny? I don't remember him running his mouth when we whooped up on Florida. Where was all the talk then, Spurrier? You know, I know you got two teams, and of course he picks which one he cares about. Florida's the one he really cares about because that's where he won his national title and won all his SEC championships. So you didn't win anything at South Carolina. You never won anything, Spurrier. You never won a championship. You never won a conference title. You never won Jack Squat. Jack Squat! Okay? You did win at Florida. So for you to be sitting up on your little South Carolina throne, give me a break. What a joke. But he ran his mouth because that's what he did. And then Dabo, freaking Dabo, decides to run his mouth over there in the ACC, the weakest conference in the country. He likes to run his jaw. But uh, here they were when they uh, watched the uh, South Carolina game. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did their own version of Dumb and Dumber. And it doesn't surprise me any. Like I said, anytime the Vols lose, Spurrier gets in one of these little moods. But let's get into what they actually said. And this story was in Sports Illustrated. It says, Steve Spurrier cannot resist bashing the Tennessee Vol uh, football team. And, of course, we'll get right into what he actually said that matters. It said, Spurrier took an hilarious shot towards the program as a reminder that the Volunteers would essentially forever remain second fiddle to the other programs in the SEC East, even in this season. It says, they're not going to win the division. They're not going to win the SEC. They're not going to get in the Final Four, Spurrier said, per the Courier. Said they're just going to have a little bit better than an average year. Someone told me Tennessee is probably headed to the citrus. Said, I guess that's kind of a mean thing to say, <laughs> as he smiled. <laughs> and he's famous for saying, you can't spell citrus without U and T. Now, granted, we're going to be going to a really good bowl game. We just, we need to beat Vandy, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, of course, he's going to take his little uh, smart aleck comment because, like I said, he picks and chooses. Yeah, yeah, you weren't running your mouth when we whooped up on your little gators. You were just as quiet as can be, so shut up. <laughs> shut up! What Billy Madison just said, shut up. So now let's get into the ACC champion Clemson Tiger coach. And this article says, Clemson head coach Dabo Swinney takes a shot at Tennessee Vols. You know, it's pretty obvious we were heavy in their head because – that's funny that all they were waiting, just praying we would lose a game because we'd been whooping up on so many uh, really good teams and having such a great year. So we obviously was bothering the crap out of them. And Dabo said, he said, you're in Tennessee's position. They're like, okay, we beat South Carolina. We beat Vandy. We're in the playoffs. He said, you know, they're flipping burgers at the house, having a cold drink, watching the championship weekend and wondering, what are we going to be, three or four? Are we going to Arizona or are we going to be in Atlanta? And the next thing you know, you forgot to go out and play. But I think you just got to give it to South Carolina. They flat out kicked their butt. Now, look, Dabo, here's the great thing. You don't have to really play very many tough teams in your league. You know, what? I guess what, NC State, uh, Wake Forest, who almost beat you this year, and teams like that. And, of course, uh, Notre Dame just pretty much drug you up and down the uh, field. And what they've lost, they lost to Marshall, didn't they? So I don't know what Clemson's running their mouth for, especially Dabo. Um, how was your year last year? Y'all were pretty good, weren't you? <laughs> anyway, it's funny uh, to see what comes from the uh, peanut gallery. And I don't mind telling you, when I read those two comments from those a-holes, I had a few choice words for them. But I'm not going to use them on this channel. I'll thank you not to use that kind of language in my presence. That's right. I don't want to upset Sheriff Justice. He's got very sensitive, naive ears. But anyway, we've got Vandy coming up. And I'm going to tell you something. We need to beat Vandy and get into a very nice bowl and salvage the tail end of this year because it's been such a great season. We've won so many important games. We ended so many strengths, got so many monkeys off our back from Florida to Alabama. Alabama! LSU had beaten us multiple times in a row. I mean, all those streaks ended, and uh, South Carolina snuck up on us and got us, a team we've been handling very easily for years and beat the crap out of them last year. But we're going into this game, look, you know, we're like Rocky, you know. We need Mick to, to cut us so we can get back in the fight. Cut me, Mick. I don't want to do it. Oh, cut me. 
Yep, yep. Cut me, Mick. Cut me. <laughs> we got to get back in there and take on Apollo. All right, folks, I just thought I'd drop that little bit of sunshine on you today. Let you know these two knuckleheads are still out there running their mouth, especially this one. This is the biggest mouth of the South right here. He loves to troll. I call him Lane Kiffin Sr. Or maybe uh, Lane Kiffin is uh, Steve Spurrier Jr. But uh, they're, out of, they're cut out of the same mold. I'm actually surprised Kiffin didn't wind up at Florida. Although he might. You know, in a couple of years, he'll probably leave Auburn after he leaves Ole Miss. That's what he does. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the Vols and the SEC and all these different trolls, of course. And uh, Steve Spurrier is definitely Lloyd Christmas, for sure. And Dabo would be Harry. There's no doubt. That, I think I've got them matched up about right. And I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk J. Oh, and hit that like and hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Only been doing this about four months. I could use some subscribers, and it's free. Just push the button. It's easy. <laughs>